All right, I spent some time looking at that and I decided I'm just gonna leave the horn as it is because that's too much of a pain and I don't want to mess up my car just trying to make the horn louder. Meanwhile, I fixed the windshield, I think. Uh, right here. I can't find it now, so I guess I fixed it. I'll have to look at it from the other way. But anyway, this, this car has been pretty nice. I really like it. Maybe I should get to this 0.6. Hope that doesn't mess up everything. I like this Velocity Blue. It's really pretty. I like that uh, you walk up to the door on either side and hear that. And then it locks. So you don't have to go, you don't have to use the driver's side only. Um, excuse my mess. That's just from fixing the windshield and then the horn pieces. But uh, put all the seat covers on. I got these really fancy floor mats from Amazon that are leather and boy does it smell so good in this vehicle now. It really, you get that new car smell back. Oh, I gotta clean the windshield. I bought this just to clean the windshield with. It's got a really long, long lever. So you can get in here and you can, you can bend this tip however you need to so you can get in here. And actually clean the windshield all the way down in there see like that I need to get some get some squirters that stuff and spray it in there but I'll do that later right now I'm just showing my car this thing's loaded it's got both seats are, are power that, that'll lean back and then it'll move up it'll move forward it'll go up and down it's kind of cool of course the passengers there the driver's seat has more See these floor mats back here. I need to put the old ones back in where they were because you want added added coverage. But these go all the way across and they even come up next to the seats. I'm not sure how these go in now. I think it's a one design, but it's supposed to like something like this. That's what you're going for. Of course, I got this handle that's used to drop the seat down and then. So I'm not sure where those fit in there. I tried to put them in between the seats, but because right here it's attached and this goes all the way to the back, you can't really do it. Did I get that? I don't know if I got that on video. I'm not good at this, guys. But uh, anyway, but there's so much room in the back seat. So you can see any seat covers I like because the car only comes with the one pocket on this side. It doesn't have a pocket, but these seat covers, they give you an, a pocket. So there's a pocket on both sides. Which it makes sense because if you're the driver, you can't reach the pocket behind you. So, yeah, and I'm the only one driving this car. I don't have a family or anything. So, and then there, and then I'm just trying to fix this. But none of the videos show you how to take the light all the way out. And there's a wire that's left, so I give up on that. I do like this. There's a button under there. You press it, and it opens up all by itself. It's freaking cool and again see I got this mat back here which I got to go through and get all these creases out because it was all folded up into a box but you see how the seat covers come behind and, and uh, you tie them to the back of the seat which was kind of weird but they worked I got them all in there this thing's got some scratches on it looks like it's, but it's a used car that's what you get it's got 44,000 miles on it now so if they ever used it before me, they used it and scratched up the back a little bit. I'm sure they have some kind of repair stuff, but I'm sure I'll scratch it myself. Got my old, my KU Jayhawks trailer hitch because I was going for the KU theme on this car. As you can see, I've got my KU back license plate. Because it's this pretty blue, I mean. Go all the way around here. Oh, it's got the C4. It also gives you this. Like, if you lock your... You can go... You want to go for a jog, let's say, you know, but you don't want to bring your keys and your wallet and stuff with you. You want to just leave them in the car. You walk up here, put your little code in, and it'll it'll lock and unlock the doors. So it's kind of nice. And then uh, I guess I can pop the hood and then you get in and let me shut let me shut the other door. I'm not going to be able to edit this. I don't know how to do that yet, so just bear with me. I might skip 
past some points here, skip ahead. But uh, I mean, you can see I've got the really nice interior. This is the titanium. I mean, you know, I guess I should do that first. So I got the 2020 Escape. This is the titanium. And this has the EcoBoost. It's the 2.0 liter EcoBoost with all wheel drive. And it came with the tow, tow package. All I did was add the cover to it because it looks better. And uh, so I could, I don't know how much you can tow. It's probably not very much because it's a four cylinder. But anyway, you get in here, sit down, and then it's got, I just have the fob. Oops, I can't see it from here. So up here is the push to start. So you start it up and it comes on. And ah, that's weird. Yep, it does that. For people, it's clear. There's no flipping here. This doesn't do that. But uh, that's weird that that does that. But this screen doesn't do anything. It's got all these modes down here. So you come over here and you press this. And it always goes back. It says normal mode. You press it again and it goes into eco. And you can see how the screen changes. And it will change all its parameters and stuff. And that's kind of neat. And then you press it again. And you can change it to sport mode. You can change it to slippery. So when it was raining, that's what I put it in. And then you got your deep snow and sand. And then you got uh, back to normal. But uh, it's pretty nice. And as you can see down there, it's 44,477 miles on it. I've only had it for a month, so someone else has driven this. But overall, it's pretty nice. I did check all of them have this blank doesn't matter if you get the hybrid that's loaded same thing there's a this blank is there so I'm not sure why Ford did that I would have just made these three buttons bigger you know so they could fill up that whole space but that's what they decided to do I got the heated steering wheel I've got heated seats I think when I turn on the heated steering wheel it turns on the heated mirrors I'm not sure I'll find that out this winter right now as you can see it is 89 degrees outside so I don't need to worry about that, but the leather interior is pretty nice. Somebody burned the armrest here. On the passenger seat, there's a line. I guess I could show that. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. Eh, I gotta be careful, I don't wanna spill this everywhere. That stuff was a pain to deal with. But you know, for 10 bucks, i fix my own windshield, I think. I can't even tell where. I think it's right, right there is where I fixed it. That little dot, that's all that's left. There was a little crack. It was like three times as long as that little dot there. So I think I fixed it. We'll find out. We'll give it a few days. And meanwhile, back to moving everything. And there's all kinds of, I mean, look. In here, you put the phone in here and it'll charge it. It's really cool. And that, that blue thing, it lights up. And you turn the lights on. In fact, all these light up. As you can see, they're kind of lit up right now. Um, but you, yeah, you take the seat cover off, which it just folds over. And you can see that there's... Is that going to come in? I can't tell. But, uh... Somebody spilled something on the seat right here. You can't hardly tell it. But I could see it. And one, You know, it's one of those things. Once you see it, you can't unsee it ever again. So I got these seat covers from Amazon for 37 bucks and they even have the split in the back and they go with my KU seatbelt covers that I've got on all four doors as you can see or on all four seats I guess I could put one down the middle but no one's gonna sit there so I really don't care but it's got the sunglasses holder and since I wear glasses I just have these flip up ones you know that, that flip on so they fit in there perfectly. There's my X, my backup in case I forget to bring some with me. That's kind of nice to have that. And it's got, it's got your lights. You turn those on. Whatever you want. I think you want individually, which is cool. You got your, if I had a garage, I got the remotes. I might mess with my dad someday and put that in there. And, and you can hear how quiet this is. You got the, the dual zone climate, so they want to be colder than me. That's fine. I can turn mine up. Not sure how that works. But whatever you want. 
you you decide. And then put it back, you just change it, turn it off, turn it back on, and it goes back to both being the same. It's gonna get it's really nice. You can change the fan, full max, all the way cold, the air increase, turn the temperature up, it'll calm down. That's pretty nice. I, I like that. I can't wait till the winter gets here up here. Now I have I have everything. The only thing I don't have is a sunroof because this is my field of view, pretty much. Do you see the sunroof? No, you don't. So that'd be for people that sit in the back seat because it goes back here. Well, I'm never gonna see it. And the two cars I was looking at didn't have it. They were both identical. This one at Rusty Neck Ford, and then the one that the, the car I was gonna get at CarMax, but they had an issue with their title. It's there now. Now you can go buy it. But this, this is what I really want. And I test drove so many vehicles. This is the adaptive cruise control. And it's got the lane keeping. That's what this is for. So you see this bar, it's right here. I'm not gonna do it on the road, but this will light up. When you get lines on both sides of the road, they'll line up lines on each side. And it'll, and it'll be a steering wheel in the middle, will turn green. And then when you get behind someone, there'll be a car that shows up. And what it does is when you get you start catching up to someone well you get too close and you can set the depth right here you press this and it's got four settings so you can change it to how far away you want to be when it starts to slow down so if you want to be right up on someone well you have that option or you can be a little further away or further away or the maximum which i don't know how far that is i haven't 100 feet i don't know if it's that far but um it's really nice but but this this lane keeping assist when it's like you're you're driving down the highway and you you go you drop something and you're going to look over here well this will actually steer around corners on its own as long as there's lines on both sides of the road that's the requirement there has to be lines if they don't have any lines then it's not going to work like on a dirt road you're on your own uh, you reach over well this thing will start to steer for you or you're just like spacing off and not paying attention it's really nice i have to admit i wish i could drive this for work but uh i don't get that option but again you get all your power options and you can see how that lights up you can see these i've got the power seat option so i can press this you know for example oops that's not the wrong one you press that and the whole thing just starts changing. Oh, I got way up there. Oh, I did that to mess with my dad. Here, let me open the door. Is this gonna work if I open the door? It does. Let me get it. Let me show you. So basically, it's gonna start moving. Oh no, I got out. Okay. Press the button. See how it moves? There it goes. I think it goes hit and move. That's only not moving as much as I thought it was going to. But that's just with pressing these buttons. You know, everybody's got that. What else can I show you? This is kind of neat, although be careful when you're going through an automatic car wash that where they have the thing that pushes you through, because what it will do, so you put it in neutral, and then it says select M to confirm, whoops, let me uh, do that again, see if it will do it, select M to confirm, stay in neutral mode, and you press, so what I did was I put it in manual, press that. Yeah, don't do that because then it says stay in neutral mode engaged okay well now you go to put it in drive Did that work oh well I have no idea then because I got it stuck in neutral and I, I tried to put it in drive and it wouldn't let me well, maybe it's who knows I don't know well it's probably because I'm stopped that's that's got to be it because I'm stopped. I'm not moving. 
Well, it did something weird, so I'll never touch that again. That scared me a little bit. But you got this automatic. This is your start stop, which, you know, I went up, I found this. It says engines in normal operation. But the engine never shuts off. They were telling me it's only about 20% of the time and that's if the conditions are perfect, it'll turn off. So just because you're sitting in a drive-thru for 10 minutes and you haven't moved, it's not gonna shut off for you. It has to be like perfect. It has to be like really nice outside so the air conditioner doesn't have to come on. You can't be at any kind of an angle, like a hill. I mean the slightest uphill or down, it won't do it. It'll say you're on a steep incline. I'm like, that's not a steep incline. It's basically flat. So, you gotta be aware of that. I mean, it, it's neat that it has it, but it doesn't really work. I haven't tried the parking. It'll parallel park itself, apparently. But I haven't, like, there's no way to parallel park out here. You can see these people, they, it's all this regular parking spot. So we zoom in there, see? I can't really parallel park the next to people. I need two cars out away from each other, but maybe I'll do that someday. This is this deal, and I want that one. There we go. We zoom back out. But you can see that's pretty nice. The graph animals everywhere. These lights, Grandma and I were back here, and we pressed those, and they opened up. It's pretty nice. I really like this car. Oops. Let me put it back in park before I crash it, trying to show people stuff. But this, this is pretty responsive. You can got your navigation. It tells it's my phone. You can just pick phone if you want it just to stay there. You can go back to audio. It'll show you what's playing next. Um, you want to change your source, you press that, and you can pick you know, AM, FM, Sirius. I think that's all I got on here, yeah. Go back and hit home, and then it's your little mini map there with that. It's got all kinds of neat stuff on here. You can go to settings. You can play with everything. You can change the sound. And this has got the, the banging all the bang, bang and Olufsen stereo system. I should look that up and make sure I'm saying that right. I'm sure I'll get some comments if anybody watches this. But you can change all your settings. I like that it's got the speed compensated and then you got surround. You can put in stereo mode or surround sound. Surround sound sounds better to me. So I left it in that. So when you slow down, the volume will slow down. That's the speed compensating thing. It's kind of cool. But I got the bass turned up. Maybe too loud. I, I listened to some music, but apparently you can't do that and record it for YouTube because it's copyright protected, which I always thought was silly. Like, come on, people. Just let people put music on their videos. It sounds way better. I don't know if I'll just, what else I can tell you. You got all these settings. You got your, it tells you who's wearing a seatbelt, who's not. That's kind of, who cares? Your tire pressures are there. That's pretty, pretty good. Tells you how you're doing on your efficiency. Wow, I got all 99%. That's pretty good. Um, and then, of course, your normal mileage. I've gone 157 miles on this tank. And I'm at half a tank of gas because I don't drive this the way you're supposed to. I'm a Mustang owner, or previous Mustang owner. So I drive it. I'm pretty aggressive, I will admit. I'm averaging pretty good. Like that speedometer says it'll go to 160. <laughs> I wonder. I looked it up, it said the top speed is 130, which I'm not gonna ever have this up. That's, yeah, I'm not taking this to a racetrack to see how fast it'll go. I do like, I can open the trunk from here or I can use the remote. Um, that's pretty much it. I do like this car, it's really comfortable. It's, again, and Ford gets it. When you get the titanium, this is what it comes with. This is all the standard options. It comes with everything. Tow package is included. You get the the Bang and all all of some stereo system. You get all these extras. Even this compartment opens up. And I mean, look at all the string. You got another charge port in there. I think is that the only one. It's dark in here. I should get the flashlight out. But yeah, they got your little place that dug the mirror. Yeah, you can put a pin there. So guess what? I put a pin there. But that's what I wanted. You got the leather interior. It's really comfy up here. The Mustang had leather interior. 
up here, which I was like, why would you put leather on the dash? How much did that cost extra? Well, on the Escape, that's just plastic, which is fine because I'm not gonna lay up there. The only time I'm gonna touch that is to clean it. And you want plastic. It's got leather on the armrest right here. This is where my arm's gonna rest. This is just composite. I'm sure this is fake wood. But again, we got leather on the armrests, leather around the steering wheel, leather in the seats, which I've put seat covers over because in the summer I'm wearing shorts and you stick to leather. I've had leather seats before. But they're awful in the summer when it's 100 degrees outside. Ugh, you don't want to touch it. It'll, get, oh, it'll burn you too. And these are black. But uh, so far I've had this car for a month and I really like it. It's really nice. It's got all the luxuries I ever want. I mean, it's got every gadget. This thing is, it's got, oh, it's got the rain sensing wipers. So you set this to whatever and they'll come on. You can just put them on, which I got to turn them off when you go through the dry, when you go through the car wash. But uh, you put those on, just leave them on. And when it starts to rain, they'll come on automatically. And the harder it rains, the faster they'll go. And when it stops raining, they stop going. It's really nice, but uh, yeah, that's funny. If I hold the camera down here, the flashing stops. I wonder, see, hold it up there and it starts again. But right there, it's focusing, so it's focusing here. If I move it up and see where my hand's focusing, and yeah, it starts to get the, that's crazy. I wonder if it's like that every time. Now, I'll just hold it right here. And you can see how clear this is. Let's see if I can do this. So you go back to home. If I put that in the middle, is it going to do it? Oh, it's not. Got my time on here. But anyway, this is what I was showing you. So you got your phone options. And you got keypads. So if you want to call someone, you can you can do that. Your navigation. You can put in stuff. You got the menu. Whatever you want to do. There's there's so much stuff this car will do. And I haven't even explored all of it yet. I mean, it's still pretty new to me. It's been pretty fun. The compartment's pretty huge. Put some stuff in there. But look how big. That's got the owner's manual in there and, and my registration stuff. But look how big that is. That's huge. And these, I should put some gloves in there. It is a glove compartment. After all. <laughs> anyway. Um, but uh, yeah. It's a great car, and these seat covers. 37 bucks for those. I got the windows tinted, which it's hard to tell. It looks like the factory tint's not as dark up here inside anyway. The outside, it matches. No hand got this window strip too, which I really like, because when the sun comes right here, as you see these visors, it's everywhere you go. But that's where the sun will come in. Over here, it'll come right in that hole, which this I wish this came down more, but it's it's fine. If I sit right here, yeah, I guess that does block it pretty good. Of course, you got your passenger side, same thing. Where does the sun come? Oh, it comes in right here, and there's no way to that's that's it. You're sitting here again, you're sitting here, you look there, look at all that real estate. And I don't know why they don't have something that comes down. And covers this completely. This whole thing should be just something. Even the visor, which I know the visor's got to fit here. Oops, the visor's got to fit here, so we can't have anything comes out and over because it'll hit this. I just felt like you know, someone someday they're gonna figure that out. But uh, anyway, that works. And uh, that's pretty much. This is my 2020 Ford Escape. That's a titanium. And you get everything. Even these back seats are really nice. I should get back there and show you this. But that's all for today. I'm going to go inside now and uh, do something else. But again, Ford gets it. Jeep, you get the high level. It doesn't have the adaptive cruise control. What's up with that, Jeep? Well, you get four-wheel drive. I don't need four-wheel drive. This has all-wheel drive. That's plenty for me. I'm not going to go off-roading. That's stupid. You want to break your car? Well, have fun. I mean, some people like to do it. Put yourself in a situation where you could break something. Okay. I like to just drive my car and go home. Um, but these floor mats. I don't, I don't know if I should have. Should have gotten leather floor mats? I like the blue striping. Of course, you can't really see them because they're in the dark. But 
I see one open the door. I know they're there and it covers everything. It's kind of nice. All right, everybody. Again, like and subscribe. Make a comment. You know, maybe someday if I can post enough videos, which I probably won't, but if I can, maybe I can get enough people to, I can start making money off of this. I doubt it though. But there's something to look at. It's all looking around. Again, we got plenty of room back here. Look how much room you get. And I got the seats back. And look at all that room. And again, these some floor covers. They cover everything. They're kind of nice. I should put my regular floor mats back. But uh, anyway, this banging all of stereo system sounds good. All right. Goodbye. Right? Is that all I have to do? Thanks for watching and have a great day.